Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on understanding tricks and strategies to solve some multiple choice questions. In this video, we'll discuss how to work with radicals, especially to find square root of functions which are kind of like this. Let's say if I have p plus 2 square root of q, and if you have to find square root of the whole function, what is this equal to, right? So that is what we are going to figure out in this particular video with the help of four examples. You can always pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. So the very first question is to find square root of 3 plus 2 square root 2. We are given four choices, and then we have 8 minus 2 square root 15, and then we have 5 plus square root of 24, and then we need to find square root of 11 plus square root of 112. Let us see how to solve such multiple choice questions one by one. Question number one, find square root of 3 plus 2 square root so the strategy is kind of like this. We need to find square root of 3 plus 2 square root 2, right? So we need to find this value. Now let us assume that this value is equal to square root of A plus square root of B. Now, if we square both sides, what happens? If we square both sides, we get 3 plus 2 square root 2 on the left side. And on the right side, we get square of this, which is a plus 2ab, right? 2 times square root of a times square root of b plus square of this number, which is, which is b. So you could actually rearrange this and write this as 3 plus 2 square root of 2 is basically equal to a plus b plus 2 times square root of a b. Correct? Now if you notice then we can actually compare the terms and figure out the answer. Now 3 could be related with a plus b, right? And 2 square root 2 could be related with 2 square root a b. Do you see that part? So, so the portion here could be related with the second term and therefore from here we actually get two equations to work with. So what you get here is that we could write this as a plus b is equals to 3 and we can say that a b is equals to 2 the number inside right. So so if you compare these two, 2 and 2 will cancel, and this number 2 should be equal to AB. Does it make sense to you? All right? So, so we get two different equations. Now, what combination could give us this result? All right? So now think about the combination. So what straight away comes to your mind is 2 plus 1 is 3, right? So we can say 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. And we know 2 times 1 is also 2. So that means we get value of A as equals to 2 and value of B as equals to 1. Correct? So therefore, we can now write the solution for square root of 3 plus 2 square root 2. That should be equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 1, which is just 1, right? So square root of 2 plus 1. So that becomes our answer. So option C is the right option. Is that clear to you? Now, in this particular method, we understood one thing, and that is, if I have to find square root of something like P plus 2 times square root of Q, in that case, the value of p is equal to a plus b and value of q is equal to a b. Do you see that? That's what we figured out, right? And then we could actually write this term as square root of a plus square root of b. 
plus when this term is positive does make sense to you so this is the strategy which we can straight away use and get our answer within few seconds right so it's a very good strategy for any multiple choice question now let's look into the second question which is 8 minus 2 square root 15 so now we could apply strategy here right so we could apply the strategy and write our answer so we have 8 minus 2 square root of 15 we need to find square root of this that is to say we need to find this number so if we apply our strategy we are looking for this to be equal to square root of a plus square root of b where 8 is equal to a plus b right and 15 is equal to a times b now the two numbers are 3 and 5 correct so we could write this as 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 3 is better right 5 plus 3 is better bigger number first right so let me write this as 5 plus 3 which is equals to 8 and here we get square root of 15 and b so these are the two numbers right so if we do 5 times 3 we do get 15 correct and therefore the solution should be square root of 5 minus because this is minus in between square root of 3 does make sense to you right so from here we get option C as the right option now let us do our method and check the result perfect so what we are saying here is that 8 minus 2 square root of 15 should be equal to a plus b minus 2 times square root of a b correct so when you square both sides from here when you square both sides that is what you get and as we did last time we'll equate 8 to a plus b and we'll equate 15 to a b right just as we did here right and we do get the same result which is 5 plus 3 here so that means 5 and 3 can work and therefore we can write that the square root of 8 minus 2 square root of 15 is basically equal to square root of 5 minus square root of 3 minus since this term in between is negative is that clear to you so i hope you have understood the strategy and now using this strategy we are going to answer the next two questions perfect so now we have to find square root of 5 plus square root of 24 that is to say we need to figure out what is square root of 5 plus square root of 24 this is what we need to find well 24 we'll write as this as 5 plus square root of 24 is like 4 times 6 correct it's kind of important to get 2 outside so we'll write this as 5 plus 2 square root of 6 right now that gives us that two numbers their sum should be equal to 5 and their product should be equal to 6 so the numbers are 5 plus 1 right or you can say 5 plus 1 so 5 and 1 are the key numbers here so our answer is option D does make sense to you so you could always write this as equal to square root of 5 plus square root of 1 which is 1 is that clear to you so now you see once you understand this strategy such questions become so simple right now let's look into the next example which is 11 plus square root of 112 I will now like you to pause the video answer this question right and here is our solution we are looking for two numbers whose sum is equals to 11 but what is their product equal to well for product we need to rewrite this right so we have 11 plus square root of 112 well, you can write this as 11 plus square root of 4 times what right so if you divide by 4 4 times 2 is 8, right? 4 times 2 is 8, then you get 32 to 28, right? So that is what you get. So basically, you have 2 square root of 28, right? We are trying to figure out what is the square root of this 
term, correct? So that is what we need to find. Find square root of this, right? So we know that the sum should be 11 and the product should be what? Product should be 28, right? So what are these two numbers? Which could give you 11 as the sum and product as 28, 7 and 4, clearly. Our answer is square root of 7 plus square root of 4. And, you know, square root of 4 is 2. So square root of 7 plus 2 becomes the right answer. So option A is the right option. Is that clear to you? So now, by now, you must have understood how easy it is once you have understood the strategy to solve these questions, which could be very tricky. So I hope now this concept is absolutely clear, right? So you could solve any question, especially a multiple choice question of this kind within few seconds, right? So let's review what we have learned. So we began with something like this, square root of P plus two square root Q. And we could write this as square root of A plus square root of B, where what is A equals to and what is B equals to? You could find that by equating P as equals to A plus B and Q as equals to product of A and B. And straight away, you could get the answer. So I hope that makes sense. So this is an extremely important strategy which can be applied to solve many questions related to the given topic and can really save a lot of time for you. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.